Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add your cell phone as a surveillance camera to Synology's surveillance station. If this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. That being said, let's hop over to the computer and get started with today's video. Okay, I'm signed into my Synology and I'm actually in the surveillance station software. As you can see here, we have live view, timeline, the IP camera module, recording, and the application center. We're going to do something really cool today and that's add a cell phone to Synology surveillance station. So let's go ahead and click on the application center. And you can see here, there's a ton of different applications that could be integrated with Surveillance Station. But we're going to come down to Live View, and we're looking here at Live Cam. This app, once installed on your device, allows you to add your cell phone to Synology's Surveillance Station. So if you click on Download, it pops up the QR codes for the iOS store and the Android store. So basically, if you have an iOS device, you would scan this QR code here. And if you have an Android device, you would scan this QR code. Alternatively, you can go to the respective app store on your device and download the LiveCam app and install it as you would any other app. Okay, let me close this window. I just want to open up the IP camera module as a reference point. And you can see here we have the live cam showing up in the IP camera module. That's the camera that we set up in the last video. Once we complete the installation of the live cam app on the cell phone, it should show up here in the IP camera list as well. Let me bring up my cell phone. In an effort to save time, I've already gone ahead and downloaded the live cam app. You could see it here. Let's go ahead and launch it. The next step is to fill in the required information, either the internal IP address of the NAS or your Quick Connect ID, followed by your account ID and password. For this video, I'm just going to use the internal IP address of the NAS for demonstration purposes. However, if I wanted to be able to stream footage back to my Synology surveillance station while I'm away from my network, I would use my Quick Connect ID. Let me get this information filled in off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, so the phone has paired with Surveillance Station. You can see that by looking at the phone screen, I have a blue circle with a white play button. And over on the IP camera screen, the phone has shown up in the camera list, but it's in a state of disconnected. So let me go ahead and press the play button on the phone screen to establish the connection to the surveillance station. So now we're looking at my cell phone screen. You can see my audio processor. You can see that the camera disconnected status has disappeared on the IP camera list. Let me bring up the live view. On the left, you can see the bullet cam that we set up in the last video. And here you go on the right, it's the footage being streamed from my cell phone back to Synology surveillance station. So let me make this a little bit larger. And I just want to mention, if you had used the Quick Connect ID instead of the internal IP address, you would be able to stream remotely back to Synology's surveillance station. Just want to mention though, since it'll be streaming over cellular, it'll be a little bit slower and it might have some lag. It might not be as responsive as you see here. Using the cell phone in Live View, you have some of the same features. You can take a snapshot. You could use the drag and zoom. You can pause the live view. You can adjust the volume, adjust the audio output, etc. This is really, really cool, guys. I really like this. I like this feature a lot. Let me take you on a quick pan around the studio, showing you things behind the scenes that you normally don't get to see in my videos. And don't mind the 
little toys, the little stuffed animal toys on the floor. Every once in a while, I bring up my three-pound chihuahua, and she stays with me up here and plays with her toys while I'm getting some editing done. So yeah, there you go. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And thank you guys for using those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.